I'm from a small town called Franklin, Ohio. A great town. I was really involved in sports there. Playing basketball, I, I think I played since I was about three or four. My dad always jokes around saying I was born with the basketball in my hand, but I think at that time I just kind of fell in love with it. I've played throughout my entire life, you know, every age, traveling every summer, just wanting to play. Ohio basketball is really competitive. You know, it made me better. For my high school team, we traveled a lot. When it got to, to tournament play in Ohio, playing against some of the northern teams, you know, being a southern team, we were able to go up against some really talented teams. LeBron's high school was there, and they're always really good. They were in the same division, and definitely made me better as a player. I'll never change you know, who I am, and I, I, I'll never forget where I came from. You know, Franklin is, is a special place to me. I definitely take pride in coming from there. Training for me has been a part of who I am throughout high school and into college. I took training pretty seriously. I have a mentality where, as a player, I want to get better each and every way I, I can. And, you know, I take every opportunity that I have to do that. So working out here and then my past experiences, training has been really important for me and it's definitely helped me a lot. So our day, um, get up around nine, we eat breakfast and we come straight to proactive and we're getting stretched out. And then we head to the court, get a great workout in with Don and with all the guys. A lot of shots up, a lot of playing against each other. We work really hard during that time. And then after that, we come back to proactive and we're either lifting or we're doing mobility work, yoga, just getting involved with different things to strengthen our body and getting our bodies right. I think for me, being stronger in this league that I'm preparing for will help me a lot on both ends of the court. Just getting my body right, making sure I'm being able to be really physical and have the strength to do that. And one thing that I want to somewhat prove to teams is I'm more than just a shooter. I'm a playmaker. I'm a scorer. I take every opportunity I can on, on the court to make other guys better and make the right play. You know, my basketball IQ is high and I take advantage of that. Being able to make right decisions at the right times just to get that point across to teams, not only just talk about it, but to show it on the court is one thing that I'm really looking forward to. This past season before my sophomore year at Duke, I didn't think I would be in this position. Leaving Duke was a tough choice. Duke was a special place for me. I built so many great relationships there with, with so many different people. And I grew not only as a player, but as a person. And it was kind of hard to leave. My dad was really involved with the decision-making process. And I talked to my coaches a lot from Duke. You know, we kind of just decided that it was a good opportunity for me at the time. You know, I felt no pressure by anybody about the decision that I was making. I followed my heart. I prayed about it a lot. And I thought it was the right choice at the time. Just imagining draft day, it still seems so surreal. I mean, I'm blessed to have this opportunity. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Wherever I end up, I'll make the most of it. I'm going to work hard. That's what I do. I'm going to compete, and I'm really looking forward to it.